explored the history of imaging, sensing technologies, and post-capture processing have developed in lockstep. In the film era, dodging and burning were examples of post-capture processing. Later, digital cameras led to image processing at the granularity of pixels. More recently, light field cameras provided processing at the level of light rays, which led to novel capabilities such as refocusing photos after capture. What would post-capture processing look like at the finest possible granularity of light, which is at the photon level? We consider single photon cameras, such as single photon avalanche diodes or SPADs, which can capture individual photons at extremely high speeds. Producing a temporal sequence of binary frames called a photon, we show that simple linear and shift transformations of the photon cube or photon cube projections can computationally emulate a wide variety of imaging modalities after the fact. These modalities include conventional intensity, high-speed composite capture cameras, event cameras, and even cameras that move during exposure. Here are a few capabilities of our photon cube projections. We can recover a video from a single image. We can capture changes in scene content, just like an event camera. We can even emulate sensor motion without physical movement. This allows us to freeze the falling die in air by emulating its trajectory as it falls. A simple example of a photon cube projection is the sum of binary frames. This emulates a conventional intensity camera. We can also multiplex binary frames, resulting in a coded exposure. For instance, by multiplexing with random binary mass, we can get a video compressive image. A compressive capture can recover video frames from a single image. Being software defined, we can compute not just one compressive image, but multiple compressive projections with different mass sequences. This enables high-speed videography of challenging non-rigid motion. Here is an example of the splash created by a tennis ball falling in water. Next, we show photon cube projections that can emulate event cameras by computing temporal derivatives. Event cameras generate a stream of outputs in response to scene dynamics. We can visualize these outputs by binning them into a sequence of frames or by using a 3D spatial temporal plot. By virtue of being software defined, our approach can compute both intensity frames and their aligned events simultaneously with a single camera. Our emulated events inherit the low light imaging capabilities of single photon cameras. We compare our event stream to that of Prophecy EVK4, a state of the art commercial event camera. While the two outputs are comparable in sufficient light, the performance of the Prophecy deteriorates rapidly in low light resulting in strong noise and motion blur. We now consider projections that are computed along arbitrary spatiotemporal directions, such as the sum of shifted bit planes. When there is no shift, such a sum produces a conventional intensity image. Static objects appear sharp, but moving objects are blurred. If we integrate along a linear trajectory, a suitable choice of trajectory slope can produce a sharp, or sharp image of objects in move, motion. For example, the falling die in the scene. SODACAM can also compute a stack of linear projections simultaneously. In each image, only objects with a certain velocity appear sharp. This is analogous to a focal stack, but using motion. Similar to focal sweep, we can sweep across velocities, which makes velocity groups sharp one at a time. Zooming out, here's why we find SODACAM interesting. SODACAM leads to cameras that can be adapted to the target domain, and yet because they are reconfigurable, can evolve through the application's lifetime. For instance, we could emulate an event camera while driving, a conventional camera when the user needs it, and perhaps a learned projection when performing an inference task. We believe SODACAM will lead to a Cambrian explosion of cameras, a few of which we've emulated in this work. Unconventional images can be prototyped in a computational manner without having to resort to sensor fabrication processing each time. 
This could make sensor design accessible to the broader imaging and vision community, perhaps filling up some of the question marks we have in our figure here. We would love to chat more about the exciting new imaging modalities that some of you have in mind.